Hello and welcome to SaaS Junior Maths. Today we are going to be looking at the rules of log reading. And this time around, we are going to be looking at how we can prove them. So for today, we are going to be looking at uh, um, three out of the rules we have in, um, in log reading. So this part of the video, we are going to cover multiplication rule, division rule, and power rule. So let's get started. So now we want to start with the multiplication rule. And before we can start um, proving, I want us to understand something, that there is a unique relationship between um, exponential um, form and logarithmic form, or exponentiation and, um, and logarithmic form. So I'm going to start by saying let P equals A raised to power X. Let P equals A raised to power X because we all know that this is an example of um, a, a exponential equation or exponentiation. So now if we let P to be A raised to power X, then... Switching to logarithm, it will be log. Let's not forget that we are switching to logarithm, that this um, base that is raising to its power, this base will go low or it will come down to meet this P. So we have log P is A equals X. Then I will say let Q equals A raised to power Y. Let Q equals A raised to power Y. Then, switching this from indices form to logarithm form, we have log Q base A equals Y. Now that we have compared the indices form and switching to logarithmic form, they will now proceed by multiplying this P and Q. Then I will say P times Q equals A raised to power X times a raised to power y. P times Q equals A raised to power x times A raised to power y. And of which, if we should find the log reading, sorry, if we should take this to indices, law of indices, I can see that this A and this A are, um, they are identical. And the law of indices tells us that if we have A raised to power x times A raised to power y, we should immediately what? pick one of the base and add the powers together. Now that we have gotten to this stage, the next thing for us to do is to switch. Let's not forget that this structure is an indices structure. This is an indices structure. How? Let me just put it, let's assume P times Q is V equals A raised to power P. Now, as you can see, that this is imitating, V is imitating P times Q, a is this A, and X plus Y, P is imitating it. So if you look at this structure, you will see that, or you will agree with me that this is an indices structure. So however, so what you're just going to do here is to what? Switch from this indices structure to what? To a logarithmic form. So how do I switch to logarithmic form? I will say log. Let's not forget that this base will go low to meet P times Q. So it's going to P times Q base A equals, then this power becomes the boss, that is x plus y. So from here, what do we do? From here, I will now say that recall that, recall that x equals log p base a, and y equals log q base a. So to round everything up, then I will say, therefore, log p times q base a equals, what is my x? Let me write it somewhere here. So I will say, therefore, log p times q base a equals, um, x plus y. Well, so what's my x? My x is log p base a plus log q base a. 
and you have proven the multiplication rule. For division rule, the same way we did for multiplication, that's what we're going to do for division. Then I will start by saying let p equals a raised to the power x, then log p base a equals x. I will also say let q equals a raised to the power y, then log q base a equals y. Now we are now in division, so which means if I div when, when I divide p and q, p divided by q equals a raised to the power x divided by a raised to the power y. And using the law of indices here, anytime you have same base but different powers and there is division here, then it means you are going to subtract the powers. You are going to what? Subtract the powers. Then this structure is also the same as saying this is indices structure. So if I want to switch from indices to log reading, I will, I will say this is log p divided by q. Notice base will go low to come base a equals x minus y. And we are going to recall that log p base a equals x and log q base a equals y. So when you recall that, then I will just say that log p divided by q base a equals log p base a minus log q base a. So you can see that x has been replaced with log p base a minus y has been replaced with log q base a. So if you have something like this, uh, log p divided by q base a, it will always be equal to log p base a minus log q base a. So let's write the next one here, that log p divided by q base a equals log p base a minus log q base a. So we have gotten to the second one, that is the second rule, which is the division rule. Then we now move to the third, which is the power rule. The power rule. So, for the power rule, what do we have? We still start by defining again that let p equals a raised to the power x, then log p base a equals x. Now, this is you are dealing with power rule this time around. So I will say, multiply, um, I, will, then I will now take the power on both sides, equal power on both sides. So I will say, let, this, let both sides be raised to n, power n equals a raised to power x all into n. Why? I'm taking, I'm putting the same power up here because I want to derive power rule. So what happens if I put the same power here on both sides? Now let's watch. So the next thing that I will do here, I will say this is p raised to power n equals to a raised to power nx. When I multiply them, it will give me a raised to power nx. So from here, I know this is indices structure. So taking into logarithmic structure, I'm going to have what? Log p raised to power n, notice a will go down to become base a equals n x. So, and if I want to, I was, then I will say log p raised to power n base a equals n, and recall that our x is what? Is log p base a. So, at the end of the day, say therefore, log p raised to power n base a equals n log p base a. Now, that if you have log reading that is raised to its power or to, that is raised to a power, it is the same thing as taking this power to the front of this log and we have log p base a. So the third rule is the power which tells us that log p raised to power n base a equals n log p base a. So um, I believe 
we understand this and and i will um implore every one of us to please try and um subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and god bless till next time we meet